Hey, welcome back to a new episode from Best EV. Now, many of us that have EVs also have a driveway somewhere to park and charge, of course. Not easy if you're in an apartment, but there are solutions. You can charge publicly, etc., and many people do. Hey, it's a similar idea for solar PV or photovoltaic. PV is just a, a shortcut, we say. If you own your own house, it's not that hard to get a company to install solar panels on your roof. The only person who you have to ask permission for is yourself. And hey, presto, free energy. But what if you live in an apartment? No free stuff for you. But hold on, not so fast. I found a product that I'd like to tell you about by Enel X Sun Plug and Play. Stick around for the details. I'm Martin Lee. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit like and subscribe on the video and leave a comment below as you're listening to this or maybe afterwards with what you think about this technology. I'd love to hear from you. All right, so first of all, in case you're new, what is solar PV? Let's take a step back. PV stands for photovoltaic. It's the conversion of light into electricity. The solar cells in the panel produce direct current from the sunlight, and you can use that to power devices, sort of. Our homes and devices use alternating current, so we need to put a box in between your panels and your fridge. That is called an inverter, and it changes DC to AC. Of course, housing differs all around the world, so this isn't a something that I can paint with broad brushstrokes and say, well, this is the perfect solution for everywhere. Some countries are more densely populated than others, and some are more spread out. If you take a couple of countries like Greece and Sweden, both have about 10.5 million people living there, but Sweden's three and a half times the size of the land area. And with higher population density comes a higher demand on land. It really becomes apparent when you look at cities where apartment blocks enable more people to live in a smaller area. In contrast, rural areas have lots of spread out one-off houses where there's no need to share a roof. Solar photovoltaic systems are relatively easy to install these days on traditional one-off housing. Uh, it's a, a large area of a roof. I've had two sets of panels myself put on and it was a quick process, took about a day, a small amount of wiring to connect to my fuse box or panel, you might call it. But what about a situation where you live in shared a building, an apartment block, and you want to do your bit. You want to reduce your CO2 emissions. You want to generate some free electricity. How do you do that? Because if you have to have an agreement to share the roof of your shared dwelling, then that's a pretty small area if everyone got a small piece. And then everyone's got to be in agreement. It's quite tough to work out. So if you fancy the idea of making your own clean green electricity, it might be tricky. One possible solution is photovoltaic panels for apartments. This allows people that are living in apartments to use their balconies or exteriors of the building to set up a PV system. Of course, it's likely to be a smaller system than someone who has a detached house with 15, 20, 25 or more panels. But with the advancements in solar photovoltaic technology in recent years, panels have become a lot more effective at using that space and generating power. An LX Sun Plug and Play is one really handy product. It's a full kit. You get the 370 watt panel, the Zucchetti micro inverter, and all of the brackets necessary to fit it too. A balcony. I think it's really easy to install, and it allows the user to start generating your own energy, saving money on your bills and reducing CO2. Every home that uses an NLX Sun Plug and Play system cuts its CO2 emissions, and some on average by 103 kilograms a year. That's the equivalent of being absorbed by six trees. That single panel is a great solution for covering base level use or base load, some people call it. Things that are on all the time, like the computer I'm using to record this video for you, the fridge, the freezer. You don't want that turning off. Lights, televisions, gadgets that are on standby. However, it also allows you to shave off some of the consumption when you turn on something that is a bigger drawer like the oven or a kettle or coffee maker and that of course works during the hours in which the panel is producing energy the inverter is quite light it's a fraction under two kilos and pretty efficient as well converting at a rate of 96.7 percent it means the system is capable of an average annual production of 420 kilowatt hours just taking an estimation if you were considering that panel was somewhere like rome of course, it depends on where you live in the world and where and how the panel is situated. And for EV lovers, let me try and convert that into distance traveled. If you assume a Model 3, 
so a real world usage of 150 watt hours over a kilometer you could drive 2700 kilometers or 1700 miles on what your balconies produced the handy thing is the ease of installation as the panels are fixed to a balcony there's no need to erect scaffolding hundreds of meters into the sky or even try and I don't know abseil down from the side of the building or something the brackets are attached to the balcony securely they've even tested them in the wind tunnel up to 130 kilometers an hour so you can be pretty sure they're going to hold on tight that's just one solution that i found online for generating solar generating energy when you're not in a position to own your own home and an entire roof. But what do you think about this particular solution, the NLX Sun plug and play? Is it something that you could see working where you live? Have you seen one in operation? Do you like the idea, if you live in an apartment, of being able to generate your own energy, reduce your carbon footprint, and also save some money? Well, leave us a comment below. Let us know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.